I can see myself in the uh, OBS preview now, which is uh, better than it was before. So that's always that's always a good thing. Um, but we need to have a look and see what we can find in terms of uh, documentation on the internet, and see if we can sort this shit out because it's uh, it's behind me on the floor right now. I couldn't find somewhere to put it unless it was like here. But then I'll be like, hello. Um, oh god, Ashley, the tripod is so sexy. Sexy, sexy tripod. We have a sexy screenshot of Lloyd's tr crotch and a tripod. Yes. It was huge. I can't believe it took up so much room on his desk. Yeah, my tripod. Um, I am a tripod. <laughs> right, we're going to do some Google Foo. And, uh, have a look. Hopefully. And find how to use a Cruiser i3 Hephaestos. Uh, calibrate. Calib calib how, how to. I don't know. What are we googling? Chat, you can help me. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. Okay, so that's the upgraded firmware. Uh, firmware loading and driver calibration. Are those DT250s? Yes, they are. Best headphones on the market, mate. Noise. Good spot, good spot, indeed. You have a good eye for good things. Um, I'll tell you what. Does Hephaestos con contain asbestos? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Is there like a full manual? Who knows? You have a pair of those somewhere. A good, good set of headphones. Assembly of the electronics. That's just like the part of the manual that I have. Um, print settings. Before commencing the printing process, you need to adjust the screw that regulates the height of the z-axis so that the extruder is positioned at the correct distance from the bed. To do so, follow the steps below. Balance the ends of the x-axis using a screw to manually adjust each axis until they are both the same height. Balance the ends of the x-axis. Also, I need to like manually turn the motor things to. Um, what do you want to do? I want to uh, figure out how the hell this thing works. Um, tightly adjust the screw until it extends 4mm above the printed part. Selecting the control move axis auto home options on the LCD control panel. How the fuck do I do that? How on earth am I supposed to do that? <laughs> there was no option for that. Let's get a cable out. There's an extension lead hanging around in my room somewhere. Where did I put it? It's there. Come here. This is the extension lead that was supposed to go to my drum kit. But I don't even care. It's being used for something else. Hashtag strawberry onesie. No, exclamation mark strawberry onesie. That's not... That's not my... I'm not a strawberry at the moment, actually. And that's the wrong command. But yes, that is a strawberry onesie in the background. <laughs> and no, I'm not putting it on. Not tonight. Right. Okay guys, what we got then, was it actually gave me a menu then. Let me see if I can get this up here. Um, somewhere that you can actually see it. How can I do this? You can see the drum store, right? Let's just sort of move some of this, this paperwork.
turned out by turning it off and on again, it seemed to have done something. So, undress on stream and then put it on. Maybe if you uh, pay me enough. What's your heating bed reference? I don't know. <laughs> I might have to get on the phone with the dude that um, made this and get him to talk me through it. That put this together. So I've unplugged the power supply just for now. And I'm going to put this up here so you can hopefully see it a little bit. This pad's in the way. No way, pad. And then we will put this power supply like here. And this is janky as fuck, but. Like that. Power supply cable in there. Right, you guys can see that a bit better now. Except the microphone is a little bit in the way. Let's move this like there. This mic arm is so weak. So weak! Uh, in that menu, you must level the plate. Yeah. Oh, Kitman62671, thanks for stopping by. You probably know more about this than me. I wasn't getting a menu before, but now if I press the middle button, I get info screen, no SD card, and control. I'm guessing in control, you need to level plate. Leveling. Press to start. Oh, it's moving. Okay, something over right here. Um, stop. Something ain't right. That wasn't turning then. So, what we need to do... Power this off, and we will try and just... Here, what I'm going to do uh, is it is moving. It is moving. Um, I'm going to try and just reseat this because I don't think the uh, I don't think that it's in the right place. Not not in the right place. I don't think it's like screwed in tight enough. This uh, threaded rod. So I'm going to turn this side to lift up the entire thing. Oh, it's actually like pulled the the nut out of the. Let's see. It's a very difficult place to, to work on this, and I can't really see chat right now. Watch video is in Spanish, but it's easy. That's, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's very helpful. Thank you very much. Thank you, dude. Much appreciated. Right, that is there. Okay, right. I just wanted to get it into a place where it felt like it was uh, touching so that this and this side, the actual like place where it is on the the rod is uniform. On the threaded bar. 
Right, so that's nipped up now. We could try that again. Oh, I should probably watch this video. Nivelado de la base de impresión de tu prusa y tres efectos. Para comenzar con la nivelación. Is it where it just takes it to the left, to the right, and then to the middle? And then you have to do it twice, don't you? You have to run through it twice to make sure that it's still level. And you use a piece of paper and you just test the drag. Because I've worked on 3D printers quite a lot before, but um, you can smell Sunday dinner. Is that from my house, by any chance? Because I can smell that as well. Yeah, and then move it up to there. Piece of paper, drag test. Yeah, I know, I know this, I know this. It's good, good. Thank you very much for that, though, dude. Uh, level plate. Leveling. Press to start. It's moving. It's moving, guys. Uh, for any of you guys that the experts in 3D printing, by the way, the uh, the top of the rods are wobbling around a little bit um, because they're obviously slightly bent. Is that gonna fuck up my print quality? If so. Um, like, or even if it doesn't, would it still be a good idea to just pick up a new new set of them? Because I can. I prefer not to, but I can. It's gonna hit that end stop sensor right now. Okay, that's actually like sort of touching the bed a little bit. So I need my other on thing. Oh, the dude's put. Has he printed them? I don't even know, but it's got um like fingered nuts on it. That's kind of handy. Right, so we'll get a piece of paper. Okay, that feels good. Love fades like that. Did that just make a beeping sound? I don't even know. Make a bong. What 3D printed bong? I'm gonna make a copy of my drone revolves. What do I plan on using it to make beside a dong? Is yeah, I'm totally gonna make a bong and uh, dildos and a drone. Um, I like your hair on the Twitter profile picture. Thank you. To Ashley. From, from Ashley, I mean. I'm sure she means thank you. Oh, she did say thank you. That's what she was thanking you for. That makes sense. Right, so that's the first point done. I like that it goes like up to avoid it goes up to avoid the bulldog clips because it knows that they're there. <laughs> oh, don't even need that this time either. Okay, good. Feels good. Up you go. It's working. It's working. There's a camera on the drone. Put a camera on the drone and stream it. It's a good plan. She did. She got a fucking Octa rotor for Christmas. It was nuts.
That feels good. Up, 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 up. And across to there. So this build platform is supposed to be about 20 by 20, isn't it? Uh, where's my tape measure gone? It's down there. Yeah, that looks about exactly what it should be, which is good. Like, I mean, I was measuring where the uh, actual print head's going, travelling to, sorry. I wasn't just measuring the actual glass, because I know that it's not going to fit all of that. Um, what am I doing? Adjusting this. Felt good. Why was it beeping at me? Beep. Okay, so now I'm going to go through it again because the middle is like tiny, the tiny's a little bit too uh, far down. So I was told that I was supposed to run through it twice anyway to calibrate it because uh, you can get to points where... Where are you going? Oh, I see it's home. I want to see which of the planes is is, lab, is um is making weird noises. Move axes. Uh, control. Move axes. Oh, I see. Um... Jog. Okay, so that seems fine. Yeah, that was the one that was making a little bit of move a noise, I think. It'll probably be fine. Tell it to go home. <laughs> Damien just got slapped by a fish. <laughs> Ashley, have you finally tweeted a picture of your drone? That is a sexy, sexy drone. Right, level plate. Make a dildo now, or is it still testing? Um, it's still still calibrating it. Give me a second. I'll, I'll be able to print some dildos soon. Don't worry, guys.
nearly there. Getting closer though, very close. You should print a little 3D MDM. <laughs> I should. What are you actually going to print to test it? I've got a test um, thingy. Uh, Come on! Oh, I'm not turning this one. Whoops. So close. And that custom DJI one is probably has a bunch of nice technology in it as well. Yeah, Ashley's drone is just oh my god. She was like, Lloyd, I got something for Christmas, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is. And I was like, is it a 980 Ti? Is it like she is a gamer girl? Um, she, is, it, is it so and so? She was like, you'll have to wait until you come round. So I wait. I go around her house, and she fucking has that thing, and I'm just sort of like nuts. I'm gonna have to do this one more time. Uh, whilst I'm doing this, guys, I'm going to put a uh, quick ser search into Thingiverse for a test piece and slice that up. I think, if I remember right, I did save it. Uh, likes, test your 3D printer. There we go. Download this thing. It's an STL file, and I've got Cura, haven't I? Please I do. Yes, I do. Good, good. Uh, oh, it's, it thinks I've got an Ultimaker. So let's just... Uh, <laughs> uh, machine settings. Remove machine. No, wait. Uh, add new machine. Next, it is a... Other... It's a Hephaestos Prusa Mendel i3. Now ready to be used. Uh, blah 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 blah. Serial port. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that should all be right. Gamble. Who's gambling? Everybody's gambling again. How about a dildo to test? Stop it, guys! <laughs> um, anyway, let me just adjust this real quick.
It's getting very close. This drone might be freaking expensive. Which drone? Which drone? Which drone? Red Hunter said it. Red Hunter also said it. I just realised my uh, my dashboard is zoomed in really far. Damn. That one is good. Perfecto! Good, right, um, they're actually about 1300 quid, yeah, they are very expensive. Very, very, very expensive. Ashley was lucky, very lucky. No doubt about that. Plate leveled, nice. Um, now this isn't the most stable of things to print on, so, uh, probably shouldn't actually try and print something whilst it's on here, because it will rock around and things. Oh, but I've just leveled the bed and shit on here. Um, who knows? Control. Filament. Uh, it's got a tiny bit of filament already on there. I might be able to use that just to make like a really quick test piece. Shall we just... Shall we just... Um, go on to, say, this profile. I broke it. Um, put the old monitor capture on. And then we can sit here, and I'll move my microphone back down, so I can actually see you guys, and speak to you guys in decent volume. Um, and we will pick something to uh, to print. I, I was thinking this, but that's probably a bit too complicated for the tiny amount of filament that I've got left. Did you level the Z-axis? Uh, how is that something I have to do separately? Control. Level plate, filament. Preheat. I don't see a option for it. Hello? Yeah. Okay. Well, my tea's ready. Um, I'm gonna get this done and get it. Just, just print something. Uh, the stretchlet is a pretty nice test. Stretchlet. Oh, stretchy bracelet. Oh uh, yeah, it's a bit too much um, filament for what I've got. Should we just quickly, really quickly? Okay, Windows 10 doesn't like it. Windows 10, please. Windows 10, behave. I swear. There we go. Okay, it it doesn't want to be a thing. It does not want to be a thing. Oh Jesus! What are you doing? It did this the other. It, it is a manual tuning. Oh, you mean the uh, the thing with the the the, the end stop thing here? Uh, yeah, I. That's a good point. No, I didn't. Let's see that when it homes. What did it say? 0 0.4 millimeters away from something, didn't it? Where did I see that? From the plastic part. Was that in the electronics thing? Right at the back, or never did you upgrade? Glad for that. Yeah, there's <laughs> no end of problems with it. It's, I mean. When they fix it, and it works, it'll be great. How much weight can you lift with your drone? 1.3 kilograms, I believe. Um, when they fix it and it actually works, okay, I'm just going to give up with using the start menu because it obviously doesn't want to work. Um, I have Pro Desktop here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. I don't think I've got SketchUp installed yet. Is it literally just broken? It has. Let's just sort of task manager this mother trucker. And uh, system interrupts. What are you doing? See what's using a, too much uh, CPU. Nothing. Okay, that's nice to know. 
Let's just uh, end explorer.exe and then restart it. I frequently have to do this with uh, Windows 10, by the way. Restart Explorer. Because it stops working. Also, I have to uh, restart. It's 4 millimeters. Oh, 4 millimeters. Not 4 centimeters, not 4 millimeters. Your friend is making an old custom Corvette. That's pretty awesome. Right, you're going to work now. Start menu. No, it's not. Okay. Fuck it. I don't care. So, it's home. Uh, where's my... Take measure. That's already perfect. That was lucky, wasn't it? Um, and I've already leveled the bed for that as well, so that's good. That's very good. You just tried to click something on the stream thinking it was your desktop. Nice one. Pro desktop. Let's go. I'm only using this because I know how to use it, by the way, guys. Would not recommend you learning to use this. It's a very old piece of software, as you can probably tell. Uh, let's just sort of write some letters. Um, oh, God, I just realised you can't even write letters in this, and I don't have 2D design, so... Um, unless there is something that I've never used before, which is quite quite possible. Uh, who knows? Let's just write it with the freeform tool. Let's just sort of s no, go away. Let's grab this, and we're going to want some sort of indication as to how big it's going to be. So we'll make it like a box first, and we'll do it eight by four works, doesn't it? It's not too big. Yeah, that, ow, ow, that hurt a lot. I just pinched my skin in the tape measure. Um, so I'm just going to use that as a construction tool, like, construction thing. So I can actually toggle the construction. And, uh, we will just write, um, oh, okay. Is this not the one that's supposed to, like, you know, do stuff? Wiggly, 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 wiggly. No? Okay, thanks. It's been a while since I've used Pro Desktop. I spoke about how like good I am at using it, didn't I? And then come out with this shit. <laughs> Probably too large for the test print. I'll tell you what, we'll literally just do a flat object and oh that's that's what I was trying to do. I'll just do like an M or just a squiggle, I guess. Yeah, that works. Let's have a blob, and then we'll just sort of grab this, and we'll extrude it like five millimeters. What are you telling me now? Uh, profile is not enclosed. Oh, I just literally just drew it. How is it not enclosed? It doesn't want to be a solid object, guys. Pro Desktop does this a lot. Like you see how I just clicked it to. I like, literally just like put that onto that, uh, but it doesn't want to be an actual thing. It's just sort of like, nah, I'm not actually here. I'm just pretending to be here. So we'll do this. Not even five millimeters, literally like three millimeters. What What are you doing now? The profile misses the model when extruded. Which direction are you trying to fucking extrude in? Jesus. Oh, it's got two extrusions that are going. It did actually keep the other one, it just decided it didn't want to pretend. It, it pretended that it hadn't for a couple of minutes there. Uh, right. So yeah, and we'll just like literally just export that as an STL. So I can really quickly test this. Um, stick it on my desktop. I never put anything on my desktop, but I'll make an exception. Uh, like that, call one or put two, la, 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 that's fine. No, do not want to save that. And then we'll grab that. And what's he trying to open it in? It's probably some Windows 10 crap. Yeah, 3D Builder, which is some built-in Windows 10 piece of crap. There's a tiny, tiny tanker truck, too. <laughs> I want a cute dump truck. I will, I am actually planning, guys, on uh, 3D printing some cool little quirky things that I can just give away willy-nilly. They don't cost me too much to make, but I can literally just, one of you guys is just, like, being cool. And I can be like, why am I scanning? Stop. Go away. Um, I can literally just be like, oh, you, you're, you've, you've like made me happy today. I'm going to post you a 3D printed so-and-so. And then I can get your address, come to your house and be like, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, my Duck Monkey, I linked one above. You did? 
Tiny dump trucks. Oh, they're so cute. I'll tell you what, um, I'm going to quickly try and... Oh, I need to, like... Is it difficult to get rid of, um... To change the filament on this thing? Filament... I would just... If it was me, I would just preheat the nozzle and just, like, yank it out the top. But it's not... Oh, no, I can't because it's, uh... It's not a bonus system, is it? The extruder, like, the, uh, um, feeder is, like, sat on top of the actual, um... Whatchamacallit. So if I unload... Oops, it timed out. Control, filament, unload. It's heating. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. Print a dick, dick butt statue for your desk. I've, I'm going to have to do that. I'm literally going to have to do that. Uh, and that tiny dump truck is dank, so I'm going to print that. Is it in many pieces? Right, which, which piece is which? I think there's 0.2 millimeters. Perimeter width over thickness ratio 2.5. I don't know. I don't know. The version shortens the bed axle a bit and caps the bed. Read all the files to the manifold and clean them. Okay, so we want V3. He's already sliced them, you see there. But we don't want that. We'll get rid of that piece of crap. So does it print on its side? The only thing I'm worried about is the overhang like on the top here, but there's not actually that much of it. Is it supposed to print on its side? Does it show you how to print it? It's got it on its side in the preview, so I'm assuming it does it is supposed to be on its side. Yeah. Most likely need to be broken free. Uh, we'll grab that and we will stick it in the middle. It's been a very long time since I've used Cura. Center on platform. One hour and thirty three minutes to print that. How big is it? Oh, tiny. <laughs> the timers they're never right though, are they? One point sixteen meters, that's not too bad. We get a tiny little dump truck, we are. So this is heated now to two twenty. And it's now just squeezing filament out all over the bed. I'm being yelled at by my mum as well. There we go. Problem crisis averted. Right, so that's molten plastic. Yay. Um, and then we need to find the start of the roll up here. Is there a way to uh, like manually control the Lloyd? Yes. Uh, his mum in the background. Yeah, that's my mum going. Lloyd, Lloyd. Um. Her German side's coming out. She's gonna gas me. Um. Yeah. Is there a way to manually move the uh, the X and what do call it up? The, no, the Z axes. Or is that not a thing that can be done? Who knows? Filament. Load. Yeah, it's done. It's done. Now, it's still done. It's just pissing out plastic all over my thing now. Right, um.
Okay, that looked that looks like it was working a little bit. Lord, your mother wants <laughs> go get your food. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna print this tiny little dump truck so damn hard. I'm gonna move some documents off my desk and move the printer up here because then you guys can watch it whilst I'm eating my tea. And if anything explodes, you can like actually that's a really bad idea. Let's not do that. Um, but if anything does explode. I want you guys to bear witness. Mm. What did I just drop? It's only a camera charger, it's fine. Go away, microphone. My, my literally, my desk is legitimately not big enough. If I move the Xbox controller up there, push my keyboard right up. Maybe, just maybe. And now I'm sort of tangled in the cord with my headphones. I can see absolutely fuck all right now, but you guys can see everything, so it's fine. Um, so we need to find an SD card somewhere. Two gig, that'll do. It's a micro SD card with an adapter, but same difference. Uh, we also need a SD card reader, which should be like probably in my camera bag actually. Damn it, I didn't think of this. Okay, it's not in there. I literally can't find it. Where the hell did I put it? Oh, is that it? No, that's one of my memory sticks. One of many. It's not in my little tray of goodies, is it? Yes, it is. It was in the it was in the box with the SD card. I'm just a retard. It's fine. And we'll stick that in there. Right. So. Oh god, what's it got on it? Some sort of operating system. Let's pretend that that's not on there. I don't even know which operating system that is. It's probably some form of Linux. Macrium PE. What's that? Hopefully that's not being used for anything. <laughs> uh, are you going to do more live stream of this making? Probably. I'm going to uh, print something in a second. And see what happens. Layer height, it said 0.2, didn't it? Where did my uh, tiny toy truck go? Perimeter width over thickness ratio. I'm just going to move that onto a different screen real quick. Shell thickness, 8mm. Perimeter width over thickness ratio. What does that mean? Where has he stolen that from? I actually bought it. I did. Macroom is a backup software. Oh, you're right. I know what I used it for. I used it to clone my hard drive when I was switching the hard drives on my laptop from a 60 gig to like a two, uh, one terabyte or something. That's what I used it for. Uh, perimeter width over thickness ratio. The fuck is that? Let's just leave the settings sort of like the same. Bed temperature, we're printing a PLA, so um, we shouldn't need a very hot bed, should we? Um, people are saying 70 degrees is, uh, is decent for PLA, but I need your help. Argos selling 50 inch 4K, 6.5 millisecond response time, 120 hertz TV for 330 pounds. Fucking still, and HDMI 2.0 to so the max is 60 hertz. Um, that's not really much of a problem. But should I buy one for the lols? Um, 
I don't think you should, dude. I think if you're going to spend money on a 4K thing, and you, if you're going to use it on your computer, that is, unless you're going to like just use it for lols or something, I don't know. Uh, diameter filament is 1.75 mil. It says on the roll. Um, flow 100%, I guess. Nozzle size 0.4 millimeters. That's correct. Print speed. That that is. Probably about right. We could probably leave that. Probably, maybe. Maybe, probably. I hope. We'll see. Uh, and then we'll just, like, you know, slice it. Did it actually, like, detect my SD card and put it on the right drive? Holy shit! It did! GG. I love Cura. Cura. That's in there. Card inserted. Print from SD. And it's found it. It's found it. It's also found the system volume info. <laughs> Buy some second hand PC parts, duct tape them to the back as a sort of media PC build. The thing is, I know that you will. <laughs> you legitimately will. Right, so that's done. Let's switch across to the camera real quick. Um, if I can find the right scene. I've got so many damn scenes on OBS. Um, and we'll angle this down a bit so you can see what's going on down here. It could do with the angling down even more. And even more. You can see the mess that I've made of my desk right now. And my little drone. Uh, and then we'll just simply hit go, and it will go, and it will print it, and nothing will go wrong, and it will be really good quality, right? Right, guys? It's, it's extruded like a little lump of shit, just sort of on the edge of the bed. A little tiny poo. Um, print from SD. That one. Heating. It's doing it. I'm scared. I'm I'm like legitimately scared. You're gonna witness my success or failure right here. This has been three hours of work, probably more actually, because the stream did cut out twice. Buy a MacBook. Are you having a giggle, mate? Are you having a giggle? <laughs> In before it breaks itself. It better not like set fire or something. Thirty two at seventy. Uh, can the camera go any closer? It can. I can put it on the uh, on the tripod again if you want. If you guys are up for that. Get the gorilla pod out. There's the gorilla pod. And uh, uh, where did I put that? I was in a massive rush, so I was throwing things around all over the place and I've, I've like Did I chuck it under my bed somewhere? It's not under my bed, under my desk. Also I'm being texted. Um, I have no idea where I put that. Is it under something? Yep, it's on my mouse pad, under my drawer full of goodies. I'll grab this. Come on, Mr. Webcam. Hello. This has got some beautiful angles right now. I hope you're enjoying this. And, uh,. Get this tripod. Look at look at that. Look at that nice ceiling. Look at look at that AR-15 on the wall and that giant battlefield poster. It's gorgeous. This is the most professional stream you've ever seen and ever will see, by the way, guys. You'll never ever come across anybody that's more professional than me. I do this for a living, obviously. Right. On the tripod. Is that close enough? <laughs> Let's stick this just like here. Oh, you can see all my Minecraft drawing and my cards from Ashley and my Funko Pops over there. And my giant battlefield poster. This is really difficult to like get right. 
get lower. Mr. Gorilla Pod. Um, can I like put this like this? I'm trying to get it so that it won't get hit by the bed when the bed comes back. The bed is still heating. It's very warm. I didn't touch it by the way, I was just hovering. Hover hand. Is that close enough or too close? I think that'll do. You can see me. Hello. It's me. You can see my arm. All the micro stuff from Ashley, the cards from Ashley, the Funko Pops from Ashley, the giant Batfield poster from Ashley. Yeah. It's all from Ashley. So everything in my room is from Ashley except for like my computer. My computer. Oh, look what we printed, guys. Look, it's a... Oh, no, wait, that's really hot, isn't it? Don't want to melt my drone. 63 out of 70 degrees. We'll start printing in a second, I hope. Also, I should move some light so you've got a bit more sexy light on this. Whoops, a daisy. I hit the filament reel. If I put this one just here, like that. Look how much better that light is. Um, the focus on the camera is not set to autofocus, so uh, not anymore at least. So I'm just going to turn that back on. See if we can do a better job of what I, I've got it on. No, okay. Apparently not. Um, lick it or riot. Fuck off. <laughs> Ashley is MVP, confirmed. 65 degrees. The heated bed is a little bit slow, but... Are you ready? Are you ready? 67 degrees. 67 degrees, guys. We'll have a toy truck in a second. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. If this starts off well, by the way, guys, it probably won't stick to the bed, actually, thinking about it. Ow, 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 ow. Sorry, I was just making sure it's clean in the centre. If it doesn't stick to the bed very well, I might have to like get some hairspray, but I don't know where there is hairspray in my house because my sister's not here. Alright, it's got up to 70 degrees, bed is done. Uh, for some reason, the, the head is getting cooler. Uh, the head is now done. No, it's not. Why is it going down? Go up. It's stopped on 205. It's getting the temperature just perfect. I thought it was just going to rough it, but apparently not. The red surface, does that get hot? Yes, very hot. Up to about 110 degrees, I think. Oh, here we go, here we go. It's homing. It's homing. It says printing on the LCD. Into the sensor. It's legitimately working, guys. Uh, and you supposed to meant to oil the bed so that things don't stick. No, because um, you have issues if things don't stick. It's drawn like a box around the outside of it, but the box isn't very like good. It, there's a big blob. You can probably see it there where the light of the thing is. Um, also, this focus on the uh, on the camera is less than good. If I move it away, it might be able to focus a little bit easier. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Guys, I own a fucking 3D printer and it works. It doesn't explode, GG. <laughs> Holy crap. It works. It literally works. I am the proud owner of a fucking 3D printer. Uh, Lloyd, you have a plastic clip on it, two plastic clips in fact, there's actually four. Um, the plastic clips are all because um, it, uh, it's holding the glass on. That's how, it, that's how this design works. It's a bit strange, I know, but... Look at it!
<coughs> well, okay then. Lloyd, Lloyd, can I have the truck? Uh, it's probably going to be shitty. The first one's probably going to be really crappy, but sure. There's like a tiny bit of um, plastic is like sort of stuck there a little bit. You can't actually see what it's printing because of the light. With Mad Dirt Monkey branding. <laughs> Print some mini dildos with Mad Dirt Monkey branding. That would go down well. Print me a dildo, I can give it to some random kid at school. Print me some mini dildos. Everybody just wants dildos. Ashley just wants the truck. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about that. I might have to try and grab that. There's like a little bead of plastic has fallen off of something and it's just sort of sat. Well, there's one there. Starters. But there's one over there. When it starts doing something over that side, I'm going to have to try and... Uh, I'm going to have to try and grab it. Because I don't want it to interfere with, like, what's going on. I know this, is, this is literally what you do not want to do. But... That's what you get with additive layer manufacturing, guys. No, go over there again. Please. No, no. Okay. Oh, it's like printed it into the design now. I'm just going to leave it. See what happens. Um, everyone hashtag give Ashley the truck. <laughs> get it twen twending, twending on Twitter, guys. Can you turn that freaking light off of the thing? I was thinking about that. Um, I don't know. I don't know which cable it is. I would if I could. It goes around that side, there's a, it's just a red and a black cable, um, oh no, that's the, my light, I was thinking if I add more light, <laughs> maybe it won't look as bad on the webcam if I add lots more light, let's just sort of play with the webcam settings and see if I can get it to stop and overexposing that bit, if I whack the exposure down quite a bit. Oh, look at that, it's moody, it's night. And then whack this light up. No, that's the wrong way. That makes it less of an issue. Is that is that better, guys? Are you happy with that? or? Because I'm, I'm going to go eat whilst this prints, I think. It looks like it's making a horrific mess of whatever's on here, though. It's the only issue. Better. Good. Um, yeah, this is a very messy print so far. Not the best quality I've ever seen, we'll be honest. But I did just make it, so... <laughs> yeah, so whilst this prints, guys, I'm probably going to leave the stream going, but I'm going to go grab some food real quick before my mum absolutely murders me. She's going to come up here in a minute with, like, a spoon and just beat me up. So... I'll be right back, um, and hopefully it won't explode whilst I'm gone. If it does, uh, Ashley, you have my number. Call me. Don't text me. Call me. Make sure I get the call. And uh, <laughs> if, if my room catches fire, like, let me know. But um, apart from that, this has been really fun, and I'll catch you hopefully when it's not broken. Maybe. I don't know. I, don't, I literally don't know. Everything is okay, apart from there is no mini dollars. Exactly. Right. Anyway. Yeah. Be right back, guys. Enjoy the 3D printer runningness.
It's not on fire. It's you, you little shits. Call him, call him, call him, dun dun dun, call him, just do it, do it. Yeah, okay, peer pressure, I see. <laughs> you guys, you guys. You guys. <laughs> I'm on the phone to Ashley right now, by the way, guys. She did actually call me. There she is. <sighs> you scrub. I'll speak to you later. See ya. Right, so... So far, so good. It's not caught fire. Fuck you guys. Um... <laughs> We hear you, mother trucker. My dad's just been like stood outside my bedroom door for like I don't know, about twenty minutes, just watching it print whilst I was eating my dinner. That was quite funny. Twitch chat is not responsible for any injuries, heartbreak, or death. <laughs> but so far, it actually looks pretty good. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to be. And holy shit, the print resolution is... Let me just demonstrate, right? This is this is something that I printed on my school's 3D printer, which costs about 1,500 quid, but it's got two extruders. Um, and this thing... Wait, let me get it so it's actually focused. In, in focus. I can't, apparently. But, yeah, you can sort of see there's sort of quality. This is supposed to be a great amount. The overhangs are terrible. Um, and it's it's not that great quality. Um... But this thing, that one's got two extruders, so you can have different materials in each one, which is kind of handy because you can have like your supports printed in uh, like a uh, water soluble PL like plastic, so that you can dip your like just soak your whatever you've printed into uh, like a bowl of water, and it will uh, it will just sort of um, dissolve basically all the support material, so you don't have to cut it off and clean it off and stuff, which is good. Um, but then also, this is what happened last time, uh, the first, very first time I ever tried to 3D print something on my school 3D printer. Um, as you can see, it didn't quite go to plan. It, it sort of, um, I don't exactly know what happened, but it caught somewhere, and it ended up being like this. It's better, it's in focus more over here, so I'm just going to sort of like poke it over here. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it went a bit frizzy, and it's a, like shit. So, um, does your school use a MakerBot? No, they have a Flash Forge um, something or other. So Flash Forge Rapid Pro no Rapid Rapid something. Will tell us how much it costs? Are you keeping it to yourself? Uh, this particular thing cost 220 quid, just under 220 quid. But this was on an eBay auction. It should have cost the kit, the base kit itself, without the heated bed and without the LED lights under the uh, extruder and without some of the other bits and bobs, um, <clears throat> is 370 quid, brand new from Amazon. Um, but because it's, uh, I got it secondhand. It's already been upgraded, it's in great condition, the dude that had it before me took great care of it and um, he was a really really like, nice guy, he sent me a load of messages and was like um, he, he was like, uh, just some things to look out for, I've marked on here what connectors are what and I've, I've like, when I put it together the first time he got the, the sets of rods the wrong way around so put the longer set uh, along here which is wrong, no wait, the, the, longer, the short set along here sorry which is wrong, the, the longer set up here um, and bits and bobs like that, he got slightly wrong, and he let me know exactly what, what was wrong. How much is your room warming up? Um, quite a bit, actually. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. Um, in fact, I'm going to open a window. Be right back. But the worst thing is the fact that I was sat downstairs in the kitchen, and you could literally hear it going <laughs> through my, through my um, desk, because it's like... It sat on this desk. This desk is huge, and it's sort of vibrating the desk, which is in turn vibrating my floor. And the entire house is just a massive speaker. And it's just <laughs> it's just going like... <laughs> it was quite funny. It's all these fans that are spinning. By the way, guys, that fan there is blowing air through this nozzle, which is also 3D printed, directly onto the 3D thing to cool it. Uh, onto the like the product to cool it, which I think is really cl cool. I just think 3D printers in general are just really cool, actually. I'm, I'm just, like, nerding out right now. I thought it was about to say, in fact, I'm going to strip. No. Um... <laughs> I'm starting to think, though, actually, this model should have been 100% infill, because it was 20% that I printed at. 20% uh, fill density, and I think that should probably have been, like, at least 60%. Yeah, that's Twitch stripping. Nah. <laughs> the most I'll do in terms of that on Twitch is I'll put my uh, put my onesie on. My dank onesie. Uh, but on that actual, like, website, it didn't tell me didn't say, oh, use this fill density or it's going to die, so I don't know. 
Strip. No, don't. I've seen enough over the years. <laughs> Everyone just wants Mad Dirt Monkey banned, it seems. Yeah, exactly. Why are you so mean to me? Let's see what people have commented. Um, well, the top comment is by Lloyd AZ. That's funny. I'm Lloyd. Hello. Uh, slice something, something, something. Fully assembled with no music parts. Lyod plus latex equals not a pretty sight. Yeah. I've seen Lloyd the most naked then. <laughs> Then, then Bob it. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Can I see the picture of the truck? The picture of the truck. Um, let me just switch across to a uh, a monitor capture. I'll still keep the webcam there. Don't worry. Don't freak out. Um, but this is what the the toy truck will look like. This is how it's printing. You can have a look around it in 3D if you want. So uh, these axles are supposed to snap off supposed to be able to break them free, which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, and then it's supposed to be like this. Even the, the, the dump trucky bit even works, apparently. Mad, why are you ignoring me? Angry Samoan, how are you doing, buddy? Sorry, I didn't see you there. Um, that thing is a fire hazard. What else have you said? What else have you said? What have I missed? Hey, Mad. Hey, Mad, what the fuck are you making sloth? Because if you are, love you, babe. <laughs> All right. How you doing, buddy? Long time no see, my friend. Except for the other day when you were hanging around. But still. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm, I'm a terrible streamer. And I don't care for chat exactly. How much has Bobbit seen? I might have seen more. Um, he's seen about as much as you have, Ollie. Um, to to um to to put this into a bit of context, guys. I used to go to Act Two, which was like a drama drama thing, and um, uh, in the dressing rooms, obviously people see people, and that's what he means by he's seen me. Um, <coughs> And Ollie has seen me because he goes to the same school as me, and uh, that's Fez, by the way. Because he goes to the same school as me, and he uh, sees me get changed for PE and shit at the gym. And uh, Ashley's seen me naked because she's my girlfriend. So, uh, yeah. He always goes on about how I can't spell his name, still can't. Yeah, you screw up, get it right. Okay, I still can't stay mad at you. <laughs> Angry Samoan, I'll tell you what, just for you, just for you, if I can find a decent 3D model of a sloth, or even if I have to make one, I will 3D print you a sloth, and I'll have to get, get your contact details, and I'll post you a sloth. It won't be very big, mind you, it won't be like the size of a house, it will just be kind of small, but this still sound, this sounds so gay, it does sound so gay. Um, sexy time, exactly. Oh, sax. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, tell you, I'll do that for you, because you're, you're a great lad, and you're always hanging around, and that is something quirky that I can do. I'll probably forget though, and then you'll be like, "Where's my, where's my fucking sloth, Lloyd?" And I'll be like, "I'm sorry." <laughs> Fuck's my sloth. Stream doesn't load anymore. Oh. Actually, seen is naked because they do naughty stuff. No, we don't. We just talk and uh, eat eat dinner together. Ew. <laughs> yeah. See. Ashley's eeling. Here's a very nice sloth item. Pocket light, you're on it with these thingy verses. Oh, that is that's good. Live slow, die whatever. I might have to modify that so it says mad dirt monkey around it. <laughs> but that is a good spot. Thank you very much, Pocket Light. That's helpful. Very helpful. I'm gonna in fact I'm gonna favourite that. I'm going to add that to a collection. I spend way too much time there, Pocket Light. All right. <laughs> so, Pocket Light, do you have a 3D printer as well? What, like, if you do, what do you have? Or if you're looking to get one, what do you want? You talk and eat dinner naked, lucky. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Lloyd gets takeout. Make le dildo. <laughs> le sloth butt plug. Ashley is probably under the desk right now. No, she. There's literally no space under there right now. 
because I, you know, all that stuff that was on the floor earlier, all the boxes and stuff. I just shoved it to the back under my desk, and everything else is just sort of scattered around. So uh, there's literally no space down there right this second. Oh, and Ashley just said you clearly haven't seen how much space it doesn't have under the desk. Yeah, literally like none. I'm gonna take a cheeky Snapchat out of this and promo the stream a little bit. Not Snapchat, Instagram, same thing. We just, uh, if you guys want to be in the uh, in the Instagram, you need to get here very quickly. <laughs> That's a beautiful photograph for beautiful people and some beautiful fans. You guys are awesome as always. Does anybody else watch the Lakeside Darts? I don't. Yay, 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 you guys both get butt naked and then just eat their cabbage and have a long talk, but Mad doesn't talk for long. No. Not much of Lloyd is long. Wait. Damn it. Um, <laughs> Pocket Light said, I have access to a MakerBot 2 at the office, so I can print whatever I want pretty much, whenever it works. Yeah, the MakerBot 2 is good, isn't it? From what I've heard. Have you seen the... Is it the MakerBot 2 Plus? They've added, like, some extra things, and you can get an upgrade kit for your MakerBot 1. Shameless plug. Yep. Um, everyone say hi to Instagram. Hey, hi, at IG. Have to do a bit of post processing on this. Gonna have to bring up the highlights, bring up the shadows. There you go, beautiful. Get a bit of color correction on here. Sexy. Makeabot Two is bad. It breaks all the time. Oh no! I, I watch a lot of Barnacle's Nerdgasm on YouTube. If you don't know who that is, he's like. Uh, quite famous um, YouTuber guy who does tech and a lot of 3D printing and he has a lot of MakerBot things and I was under the impression that they're pretty good. His arms are so hairy, your mum's so hairy. PS don't say the place. Yeah don't say the place. Last time you you, you like said with Ashley's hometown and uh, she was not very happy so if you say that again you'll have to get like dead. Oh, can you make me one of these, but modification for life proofs and post to America? Wait. For a life proof. Passive amplifier and dock. That's cool. I'll see what I can do. I'll, I will happily 3D print people things if, if they want to. My mum is hairy. <laughs> no, he has the Ultimaker. Oh, fuck, yeah, MakerBot 2, Ultimaker, they're different things. Oh, sorry, my bad, my bad. Uh, also, this light is gradually running out of battery. The second light, so um, I'm going to transition to a sidearm. Yeah, it's literally, like, out of battery. So I'm going to grab another battery out of my camera. This is the only issue with these, these lights that I use. They work off of the same batteries as my camera uses, but I only have three of them, so... Give me a second. Oh, it's very sp Ow! It's very spooky. That was just me dropping a light on my foot. Don't worry. There you go. Have some light back. God help us all. I have access to some wood so I can make all the stuff that you're making. Yeah, I want a sloth. <laughs> Deal with it. 80 mile an hour in a 20 zone, yet yeah, you sorted. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, no, please don't ship something to America. I can get someone else to. Okay. <laughs> That's not a positive way of thinking about driving. Yeah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't plan to crash because then you will crash. I don't. Ultimakers look really good though. I wouldn't mind one of those. Yeah, the Ultimakers. Uh, what I've always considered like the ultimate sort of. Just pick one up and go. Plug and play. That's the one. Um. But, yeah, sorry, I'm typing out my Instagram post. I forgot to post it. <laughs> yeah, the, um... <clears throat> the Ultimaker is, like, as far as I'm concerned, probably one of the best, like, plug-and-play things from what I've heard about it. Um, but... Uh, Sammy, you're just fucking eight seconds it took him to favourite that flipping Instagram. That was impressive. Jesus. Um... But I, I, I could still think um, you'll have a better job, like, a better final... Mm, you'll end up with a better deal and a better product if you um, buy, like, one of these kits. Not necessarily this kit, because uh, I know there are much better kits than this about there, uh, out there. I know that this is one of the fairly good ones, but um, I'm, I'm sure that if you spend a lot more money, you can get a lot better one. Um, but I still think that this is a good plan, because... Um, <laughs> Sammy commented on my Instagram photo saying, I'm watching it right now. <laughs> Inception music plays. Um, oh, you have a Peugeot 106, it's a pile of shit, lol. Um, yeah. But no, something like this. If, um, say, I want to upgrade my print quality, I can, like, I can get better stuff for it. So I can get a better print head. I can move this off to the side and have a um, Bowman, whatever it's called. Is it Bowman? Bowman system? Uh, you need to get the IFTTT thing for posting Instagram posts to Twitter. I actually have it, but if it might not be working right now because I had a problem with it the other day and it didn't post to, twi to Twitter. I do already have it. Yeah, it's not done it again. I might have to log in and just like just yell at IFTT. Sorry for my arm, by the way. Such a rebel. Who's a rebel? Mate, I am a rebel because no, because one time on the way to the shops, I don't know why you sound a bit strange, but this is your voice now, angry Samaran. I saw a little grass sign saying, "Do not walk on this grass." So guess what I did? I walked on it, but not for long because I'm just a human. Well, sloth. <laughs> That's worse than anything. You're literally worse than Hitler right now. I mean, he killed six million Jews, but you walked on some fucking grass. How dare you? You can post directly from Instagram to Twitter. Why have a separate app for it? Um. The reason is, uh, the IFTTTTTTTT thing, um, it will post the picture as an actual picture, whereas when you share it from Instagram, it only sh links, like, it puts a link there and doesn't actually show you what the picture is. So I used to have it, and it should be on, but it's obviously not working right now because it didn't work a second ago. And Andreas Pocket Light, oh, you followed me, dude, thank you very much. And Ashley followed me as well. Ashley Walther. She is not in the stream, I'm assuming, because it's. She's friends with one of my other friends, but, uh, Pocket Light, you look, uh, like a very 8-bit, well, actually, it's more like 32-bit man. 16-bit. Do you get a comp percentage completion from the printer? Yes, I do. 67%. 67%. Been going for 38 minutes, apparently. I bought mine all by myself. Actually, bought her car. <laughs> yeah, you both bought your cars yourself. Yeah, I, uh, the other day, yeah, see, I just pressed run this recipe, and it's just said error running this recipe. This is what it was doing earlier, and I was checking what was up with it. Uh, if you know how to fix that, Park, that would be very helpful, but it's alright if you don't. I do, I do. <laughs> Still hiding to this day, just in case the police come for you. That's nothing. A CIA veteran will come out in, like, 60 years' time and be like, oh, he, Angry Simone didn't actually die, he, he didn't actually commit suicide, he, uh, he was hidden in, like, he went to Skegness and s stayed in Butlins for 70 years, whatever it was that they said about Hitler the other day. How do you make so much money from YouTube and quit Twitch? Ashley doesn't make so much money from YouTube and Twitch, she runs her own business. Yeah, she said. Okay. That makes sense, yeah. What business? The dildo business. Exactly. No, that's, that's our future business.
Oh, my... Oh, I see. My Instagram thing has disconnected. Channel offline. Click to reconnect to channel to, to fix. Could not connect to channel. Could not connect to channel. Stop being a scrub lord. Start working. It's an international dildo. It's an intergalactic dildo business. I swear. Streams still don't work. Oh, Damien Games, I'm very, very sorry. He can't hear me if the stream doesn't work, does he? Can he? Oh well. But I'm I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about that. Ah, it worked. It worked. It, it twerked. I just got an email from Twitch saying that I'm streaming. What? <laughs> Kay? Uh, channels. It's it's my Instagram. Where is my Instagram thingy gone? Oh, it's just deleted the fucking recipe. Screw you. Add. Done. Check now. Right. Yeah, the recipe worked. So now it should have tweeted all of my things. You could always lower the bitrate. I could always lower the bitrate, but um, this is what I've been streaming for since I started streaming. And unfortunately, if people are buffering, uh, I don't really want to lower my quality anymore because um, this is like as best as I've found between like being good quality, good enough that I can upload highlights to YouTube, which is my main platform. I mainly, mainly live on YouTube. Um, but it's, it's good enough quality to upload to YouTube, but also low enough bitrate for you guys to um, be able to like watch mo the majority of you to be able to watch. I'm very, very sorry that he can't watch right now, but unfortunately there's not really much I can do without lowering the bitrate, like I say, and compromising quality. This looks like it's really almost done, actually. It's on 75%. Uh, I've spent the last year indecisive about whether I should do something with my hair colour, and I still haven't. Ashley is a good person to talk about this. Yeah. I has red hair. I'm, I was better than you, fam. I had red at one point and pink and purple and blue and green. She has very strange coloured hair. It's always looked amazing, though. And I should not be telling you this, but when I walked past the grass, this man looked at me with an evil look, so I poked my tongue. You. No, no. It's just can we, can we just like I'm just gonna ban him. I'm just gonna ban him straight off, straight off. I don't even care. All right, he's banned. He's gone. I can't believe he did that. How how dare he? How very dare he? Hello from the other side. <laughs> Always record it lo locally and stream in a lower bitrate. Yeah, but then I end up, like, it's not everything I want to upload to YouTube. It's like, then I end up, that's the issue. Then I end up with no hard drive space. Um, Exclamation mark ban is not the ban command. You banned him. You say, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. I'm a disgusting man. That's a troll ban, by the way. <laughs> Sam, don't worry about it. It's <laughs> Ten euros. That looks like a kappa face. Banning is. <laughs> what did he do? He, he poked, he stepped on some grass that somebody told him, that had a sign on it saying do not step on the grass, first of all. And then he just confessed that he's poked his tongue out whilst he did it, so I'm sorry, I had to ban him. He just had to go. I, don't, I can't put up with people like that. He's literally worse than Hitler. I can't put up with people like that in my chat. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. I'm being sarcastic right now, by the way, guys. <laughs> in case you can't, well, you can't see my face, but in case you didn't pick that up from my voice.
Don't look at me. Please don't. <laughs> Sam, who is this Sam you speak? Oh, sorry, Bobbit. Sorry, my bad. Your girlfriend is too nice. I hope someone took... Somebody commented on my room tour video saying, Dude, your girlfriend is too nice. I hope someone is so caring like her. Ha ha ha. There you go, Ashley. Thanks for being so nice. This is basically just turned from a stream like my usual streams into a talk show where you're just, you guys are just watching a 3D printer, 3D print, and I'm just talking about shit. It's quite fun. Somebody said awesome review on one of my videos. It was a review, which is good. It's halfway there. <laughs> hey Sam, now everybody knows your name. You animal. <laughs> I just washed my hands. Diamond for real just washed his hands, good man. Get a 100, 100 terabyte NAS like Linus Tech and put your recordings on there. Yeah, <laughs> yep, that's a good plan. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to have a uh, 24 core server just like for, you know, hosting my Minecraft server on. Do you even know how big 100 terabytes is? It's pretty big. It's bigger than me. <coughs> Sorry, I muted my microphone then for a sec, because I had a coughing fit. Did I mute the wrong thing? I don't even know. I probably muted my microphone. I'm not sure if I did. I might have just coughed straight into the microphone, and you guys have been like, Wow! Mate, I swear, when I got there, my truck was about one centimetre smaller. It was. Have you seen the videos they make bark at what? They make some pretty nuts videos. Oh, my other lights just ran out of battery now. That's two. That's two lights down, guys. Two lights down. I've got a third battery though. It's all good. I might have to go half and half and uh, and turn this light down so the batteries don't run out as fast. Turn it down like to about there. And then fuck with the exposure on the webcam a little bit and just compromise. There you go. That was a little, little bit better. It's basically back to how it was actually. Decent. Rip lights 2015 to 2016. Yep. He coughed into the microphone. Did I? Did I actually? No, no, we heard the cough. I'm very sorry about that. You binge watched them like three days ago. Oh, <laughs> you've been watching the Linus' videos. The seven gamers on one PC thing that they did with virtualization was absolutely nuts. That was absolutely insane, that video. I don't even, like, get it. It's just like... When you're bored and you just want to just, you know, just... Oh, I'm just going to put seven fucking... What was it? R9 nanos into this system and... Uh, 59... Fuck it, X, or whatever it was. I, it was Xeons, actually, wasn't it? I used Xeons. Why don't you just turn on the lights in your room? I do, it's just, uh... Too bright! Yep. Uh, it, the lights in my room are on right now. It's just this webcam. If I want the quality to look MLG, I have to give it a lot of light to work with. Same goes with any camera, really. I'm out. I'm from New Zealand, so let's try to do a New Zealand accent for you. I don't know if uh, uh, if you don't know what to do, YouTube it. Oh God! I'll, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Sorry about the arm. I could just type with one hand around the back actually thinking about it. New Zealand hacker. No. Uh, uh, I've got to reach all the way around. New Zealand accent. Australia versus New Zealand accents. His server room is goals, yes, indeed. The server room is nuts. Their entire office is just overkill. That's the reason people watch him, exactly. This was your hair on prom night, Brooke. Let's have a look. Yeah, I remember that photo. 
I actually look so babby. So babby. I've never gone to prom. I didn't go to prom. I was a rebel. I was just like, nah. That's where all the cool kids go. I'm not cool. Lloyd's server room or Linus tag. <laughs> yeah, my server room is like, um, not, 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 not existent. I've got one on the 1st of July, but I don't know whether I'm going to go or not. I didn't go. Hashtag loner. No. Oh. You're going on your own also. I would have been on going on my own because actually wouldn't have been allowed. She doesn't, she's older than me and she doesn't go to the same school as me. In fact, she doesn't even go to school. Technically, I don't. I go to college, but fuck it. Same thing. Parents want you to go since you've seen a year, but I'm like, nah, too many people. Yeah, social contact. Nah, I'm good. I'll do without. Everyone hated you, Pocket Light. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. No, everybody didn't hate you. What are you on about? I don't hate you. Much. All the time. This little truck is looking awesome, guys. Holy truck! This thing. This is trucking awesome. If I make one more truck pun, you guys are gonna like just just like send a cruise missile on my, my way, aren't you? I'm sorry. Uh, this new New Zealand accent. How to do a New Zealand accent? So today we're gonna learn to do the New Zealand accent. You guys have been requesting this for quite some time. So she just sounds like she's slightly Australian, mate. She's just with less like putting shrimps on the barbie. I can't, I can't do accents, I literally can't. I can do an English accent, I'm doing one now. Hate me? What? No, nobody hates you. Nobody hates anybody in this chat, it's just... The, the popular kids at school are just absolute dicks. You know what I'm saying. Why should you leave school in England? Uh, you have to stay until 18 in secondary education now. But that can be college and apprenticeship or um, like sixth form, which is what I go to, which is basically college but in a uh, high school. So I go to a grammar school, which means it's supposed to be very clever and we're all supposed to be very posh and very good at things, but we're all dumb and stuff and it's fine. Um, I can do an American accent, yeah. America. New Zealand accent? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark? Yeah, it's like college in America. Exactly. Yeah, we have to stay in education till 18th. Uh, till you're 18, but after 16, you can actually leave school and go to an apprenticeship, which is basically like a job where you technically get a degree, but you can get away with not getting a degree and still be able to not go to school anymore, which a lot of people do. I don't see why you'd do it, because I'd take as much advantage of the free education as you possibly can. I was actually talking to Ashley about this the other day, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, you should take like all of the opportunities you have to get the best education, because then when you come out at the end of it, you might not enjoy your like it on the way, and like by s you certainly won't actually. Um, but it's just something that, like, if, if you if you do and you come out of it pretty well, you're gonna have a massive head start, can like compared to somebody who's not been trying as much and not been taking advantage of the, the free education. Because, like, I'm not going to university, which is when you have to start paying. Um, and I, I could. I could quite easily go to some of the top universities. I've actually been offered, like, I've, I've been, people have come to me and been like, we want you to apply for this university, or uh, a lot of my teachers have been pressuring me to apply for Oxford or Cambridge, which are, like, top-tier universities, because I'm quite good at maths. Um, they wanted to go do a maths degree in Oxford or Cambridge or whatever which is like the top universities in England and uh, as much as uh, that's that's flattering and all I don't want to because A I don't think I'll fit in um, it's not my scene at all uh, the university life and that sort of thing and I, I need to be like pressured to perform I need to be pushed and I need to uh, sort of I, I do a lot better when I'm not just left to my own and I'm actually like needing to do what I'm doing so say I'm being set a project and I need to learn about a certain thing to complete the project, I'll learn about it. But if I'm just like, oh, you should probably learn this, I probably won't learn it. I'll put it off and then play Battlefield and just, like, not do it. I was offered a place at Cambridge University and I was like, fuck you, pretty much. Pretty sure college is like, we have to go to community college for a few years before you go to a university. Yeah, I, I don't know. America confuses me. The school system in America confuses me because I'm English. But guys, this is on 97% now. This is so close to be, getting, to be done. I'm going to a technical school so I get certifications, not degrees. Alright. This is so, so almost done.
My brother is from Scotland. From Scotland? He was born in Glasgow and he played for the Rangers. The Rangers? I went slightly... I don't know. Where the fuck's that? I don't know what, what sort of accent that was. The only thing I can say in a Scottish accent is Scotland and... What are you doing in my swamp? Donkey! Donkey! You're going to uni in two years for a master's in mechanics. Nice one. Best of luck with that, dude. 99% guys, hype. Get hope. Hope, hope, hope. It's actually dealt with that overhang really well. Holy shit. That's like a sheer overhang just there. Okay, there is a little bit of string in there, which is to be expected, to be honest, without support or anything. Really, not m that many people sound like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shrek. <laughs> Get shrecked, mate. It's on 99%. It's done! It's done! It's done! Success! Guys, I have a 3D printer and it fucking works. Oh, it's stuck. <clears throat> oh, that's a wheel. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, well, I broke it. Oh, I literally broke it. GG. Does your sixth form have prom? The wheel is stuck so fucking much, and the bed is still really hot. Let's just sort of, um... There we go. Oh, I can't believe I broke that. But, the other ones... The other ones turn... The, the, literally, the, the other wheels turn. Holy shit. So, uh, if the camera would like to focus... Actually, I should probably put manual focus on because this is not going to work out very well. And I'll show you what we've got. Uh, turn off autofocus. Right. So, what we've got here... Where's the camera going to focus, though? No, oh, okay, then. Maybe not. I need to leave the control up so I can actually, like, still fuck with it. Hashtag Lloyd fail. <laughs> super glue. Super glue. That is a genius idea. Righto. So, what we got here. This thing's broken. This this wheel and the axle and shit is broken. But you can see how it works now. It's got like, it's, it prints in one piece and it's got moving parts, which is pretty impressive. This is like one of the only machines that can do that. Additive layer manufacturing is like genius in that way. But this is snapped off a little bit. Um, but that would normally be like on there. On, on there. This is really difficult to line up looking at the cam uh, looking at the monitor, not the camera, uh, the, not not at the thing. Um, so that would normally be in there, and through that hole that you can see is like left in there. Uh, wait, like through there. Um, but this set of wheels actually it was working and turns. And then this bit at the back, I'm assuming, will be supposed to like lift up and shit. Stream doesn't load anymore. Damien Games is still trying to get in the stream and it still won't load. His internet must have like got worse or something because it's. It's being a pain. Yeah, and then the actual dumpy trucky bit is supposed to lift up, I guess. I don't know. Hashtag Lloyd fail. I don't want to force it too much, but um, should we get the factory new huntsman fade and see if we can like lever it open? Where did I put that knife? Oh shit! There it is. Let's see if we can get that in there. The rainbow knife. Okay, maybe a screwdriver would be a better option. It's like fused there, where there was that lump for at the very start that I mentioned about. Um, that lump is like stopping it from opening up. So I probably just need to sort of got it. I did it. And then you got the the back, the dump truck tips. Like legitimately tips. Look at it. So there's a bit of string in there, uh, which is to be expected. Considering it was like first print, it's probably not even calibrated because it was done on a like non-level surface. 
Give me the truck for the bants. Give Ashley the truck. Ashley's getting the truck, I'm sorry. Even if it is a little bit broken. But holy shit. I should probably print some more of these with like a, a slightly better infill. And I'll tell you what, I've got some plastic glue. Oh, actually, do I still have that in here? I used to have some plastic glue just behind where the camera is sat. Uh, oh, I do. Let's grab that. And uh, this is for like airfix models and shit, but I'm sure it'll do the job. And we'll see if we can glue this in without gluing the actual like axle to the entire thing so that it still moves. How fast does this dry though? Does it still dry? I need to remember it drying really quickly because it's for model planes. So you have to like hold it there. I'm not fapping by the way, I'm just sort of shaking this glue, I swear. Make me a dildo, I'm gonna put it on my teacher's desk or in her drawer. Why don't you just buy one then? <laughs> but holy shit! I've got a working 3D printer, guys! That is like the coolest thing I think I've ever owned. Apart from obviously my, my hair. No. Um, this is gonna be tricky though. Let's uh, move the camera a little bit so you can sort of see what I'm doing. The ball head on this fucking uh, gorilla pod is the coolest and most useful thing in existence. Seriously. Let's focus this camera correctly. There you go. Um, right, so we'll get a little bit of there's a bead of glue running down the little needly thing. And there's shit tons of glue all over my fingers now. This is not good. This is not going to plan. Where's my tissues at? And I should probably not do it over my quite expensive phone either. Just in case. So I'm just going to try and wipe off the excess glue. Here's one I made, anyway. This is like fucking Blue Peter right now. Seriously. I would make so much, like, pointless shit. Yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm just going to 3D print loads of random crap. And people are going to be like, Lloyd, why? 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 You just spent 200 quid on this thing. Make something better. And I'll be like, fuck you! <laughs> right. I'm just going to keep this moving whilst it's drying. And I'm holding it together quite tight. If you keep it moving, because that's hopefully going to make sure that um, it doesn't, the axle doesn't, like, stick to the thing. But then actually it might not stick properly if I, if I keep it moving. So I'm going to do that. Fapping on stream, Kappa. <laughs> Let's start a petition to, for Lloyd to make mini branded Mad Dirt Monkey dildos. <laughs> Red Hunter says, Ashley, <laughs> give me your drone, I'll give you my 3D printer. Hmm. Why don't you 3D print a drone, Red Hunter? I'm actually considering doing a uh, series on my YouTube channel. Well, I say I'm considering it. I'm going to try and 3D print a drone. Uh, that's why I got this one in particular, because it's got a big enough print volume for... Uh, it to be able to um, like 3D print the parts that I need for the drone because uh, the actual supports that hold the propellers, if you look at the picture that Ashley sent, um, that Ashley tweeted, you can see the, the bits that hold the motors are like plastic and they go into like the main centrally bit. So I can cut the main centrally bit out of anything really. I can do it out of aluminium. There's, I've got access to like a gas uh, access, yeah that's the right word. I've got access to a gas um, axe, like a thermal lamps at school, so um, I can make that pretty easy. I could even like laser cut it on the CNC. Stuff. And his name is uh, John Red Hunter. C <laughs> Much appreciated. This is hopefully a little bit less loud than it was last time, and you might actually be able to hear me when I'm speaking over the follow up. Thank you very much for following. Um, I didn't realize you weren't following yet, Red Hunter, but yeah, thank you very much. But yeah, and um, it goes into like that bit. So I reckon the only parts that I need to worry about are those plasticky things, and also the landing gear, and then the electronics, um, and the rest of it I probably can 3D print. So that's what I I was like I took into consideration. I didn't I didn't like completely pin everything on that, but I took it into consideration when picking out what 3D printer I wanted to get, and uh, the fact that I can I'd have to print it diagonally. I measured it up last time I went around Ashley's, which was like yesterday. Um, but I, I would have to print it diagonally across the platform, but I've got enough space to print those things, so it's pretty dank. You still need to turn it down, babe. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, uh, I've been holding this for fucking ages, and it's not glued it. 
So I'm gonna go get some like you know proper super glue and probably like try and fix this. Uh, but apart from that, I need to do some revision for my exam tomorrow. <laughs> I've been playing with the 3D printer all day. Um, so I'm gonna uh, probably end the stream here, and I'll keep the pictures of this thing when it's when it's fixed and up and going and shit. I'll stick pictures of that on Instagram. Probably some other glamour shots of the 3D printer, but apart from that, guys, it's been fun. It's been very fun. Thank you for all the followers. It's been great support. Uh, hashtag turn it down or now, or I'll come to your house and do it for you. Okay, I'll have to like re-render out the OGG file, but okay, I'll do it. Fine, whatever. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna just sort of like move my webcam so you can actually see me again a little bit. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, internet. This is a strange angle. I've never, never seen you guys at this angle before. Oh, hello, hello. Hey. Um. But yeah. Okay. Bye. You didn't explode. Yay. <laughs> bye. Bye. Remember to make me a sloth. Make a mini gun. I might have to. You're no mechanic. Give me the toy. No. Um. Why did you not stick the wheel on? I tried. I tried. I'll do it in a second with some better super glue. But I have to like go get it and. Yeah. But make a mini Glock or something, uh, maybe. Will the stream be on tomorrow? The stream tomorrow evening will be on as always, yes it will. Um, but apart from that, uh, I'm going to keep 3D printing random shit probably all night and... Uh, hey sexy, hey. Um, but apart from that, yeah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Goodbye. And I'll catch you all tomorrow, I'll be streaming tomorrow. I do actually have a schedule, this is an off-schedule stream. Uh, this was not planned, really. But it was spontaneous yesterday, I was like, I should like stream the building of this thing, people might like that. And turns out it was a pretty good idea. So yeah, thanks for all the new followers, thanks for all the support, guys. Thanks for being awesome, thanks for hanging out, as always. And uh, I'll catch you uh, next time I stream, which is tomorrow. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And until then, peace out, guys. Stay awesome, and I'll catch you later, as I just said, like, four times. Bye-bye. <laughs>